So here we have a circuit that we're going to decide to use either node voltage or mesh current on it to analyze it. If I wanted to use node voltage, I see, okay, I've got a node down here, it's one. I've got a node up here, it's two. A node here is three. Um, probably want to count this one before. This one, maybe it's not as necessary, but I'll write it there for five to be complete here. So node voltage starts out five by five. What can I simplify here? Again, I can ignore this and just combine the two resistors into a single six kilo ohm. That would get rid of a node, so make it four by four. Also, if I go ahead and pick one of these to be ground, say bottom here, I'll immediately know this is three volts. So that will eliminate things one more here. So, it looks like I'd have like say V1 and V2. So I'd, I'd really have a two by two system here, but there is one problem. This would be a super node, which again can be a little bit trickier to use. On the other hand, if I wanted to do mesh current here, I'd have one, two, and you might think there's three meshes, but if you try to draw a third mesh, there is no complete loop here. There's no way for the current to, to travel from those two points, so we'll just leave it off. So really there's just two meshes here and there's no super loop to do with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and use mesh current analysis here. I think it'll be a little bit easier, so I'll call it I1, I2. KVL at our first loop is 2K times I1 and then 4K I1, then 2K I1 minus I2 plus three volts equals zero. Then for our KVL at our second loop here, I go in a minus three side, then plus 2K I2 minus I1, and then minus six volts, and then plus 6K this one's just gonna be I2 equals zero. So I'll go ahead and, and simplify things, make it look a little nicer here. For the first one, 2K, 6K, it's gonna be 8K I1 minus 2K I2 is negative three. And then the second one here, see minus 2K I1 plus 2K I2 plus 6K I2 is 8K I2. And then this one's gonna equal nine, it looks like. So I can eliminate either the I1 or the I2 here and they're about equally easy. Notice that I'm trying to find V0 here, which is gonna be related to what I2 is going through on here. So I want I2 in my answer, so I should eliminate I1 here. Go ahead and multiply that by four. So then I would have 8K I1 minus 2K I2 equals negative three. And then negative 8K I1 uh, plus 32K I2 is 36 here. Add down the I1s cancel and I get 30K I2 is 33. So I2 then is 33 over 30 K really, and which makes it uh, 1.1 milliamps for I2. And then using Ohm's law, I can find my V0 at 6K times I2. So 6K times 1.1 milliamps that's gonna to go to 6.6 .6 volts.